Hello YouTube, this is Lappamaker103 welcoming you back to Pokemon Yellow, gotta catch them all, walk through. In the last episode, we went through the, the, the rock tunnel and we caught ourselves an onyx. And we found another lovely Maxi Bar. In this episode, we are going to continue on progressing through the game. As they are trainers here, there are three trainers, but actually there's four. But we are going to ignore them for now. But now we are at the new Silk Soap. Silco. No, we're not. We're at Lavender Town. I believe this says it. Lavender Town. The nerve the noble purple town. I can see that! <laughs> okay. Um this is uh the Pokemon house where Mr. Fuji lives. And if you ever want to rename your Pokemon, you come right here. This guy. Hello, hello, I am the official name writer. Want me to write the nickname of your Pokemon? Nah. Yeah, this is where you go when you want to nickname your Pokemon. <coughs> I'm gonna admit, we're not really gonna be spending too much time here because it's like, oh god damn, my ear is itchy. Eh. Oh crap, my charger's not in. No! Okay, we're good. Whoa, my frame rates went lower than usual. I'm w worried about that. Oh, uh, I gotta stop the video for just a second. Be right okay, we're back. Uh, hopefully that'll fix my frame rates. I know that probably didn't look like anything was going on, but my frame rates would normally just go to 29 to 30, practically perfect frames. But then they were just going from 29 to 28, and that was starting to get me worried. Yeah. So, I'm a little worried. Wow, they went from 31 that time. <laughs> you know what, I'm... Okay, now I'm just getting concerned. You know what, Cut. Okay, we're back. I'm... Sorry about that. I checked the... The, the two, first two clips. Clips. I forgot to heal. <laughs> yeah, I checked the first two clips, and it looks like not a single one of them's technically glitched out, or cuts, or anything, so... They look perfectly fine, so maybe it's just my imagination, and 28 frames to 30 are practically fine. So, I think we're alright. I think we're alright. <laughs> okay then, now, uh, let's check our Pokemon out. I actually haven't played this in a while. Pikachu, Kadabra, Nidorino, Raticate, Diglett, and Magnemite, that's right. These two were only with us for the uh, cave, so we can deposit these two now. Uh, deposit... Piggity... And... Magnemite. Alright then. I forgot about the trade. You know... Uh, we got the town map, right? Yeah, we did. Remember the trade from that person uh, back on this route here inside that house? I don't remember what she wanted. She wanted something to trade with her Machoke. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that's right, it was Cubone. He wanted a Cubone, but we can't get Cubone just yet. We need something first before we can deal with that. I actually want to skip all the trainers possible because we are actually very close to getting our next teammate and I want to be able to train. So, but these, one of these two here are the only ones we're going to have to battle. And due to look at my team, I'd say we're battling this girl. What a cute around fluffy Pokemon. Uh, sorry, I left my Voltorb in the PC. Wait, I haven't caught one yet. Derp. Last one to fight, so that's not fair. Eh? Oh, is that what you're talking about? Pikachu! Pikachu Thunderbolt! Wow. Yay! Paralysis! No sing! Wow, it's, stat it's status effects all over the board. Now, this I'm definitely going to say at the end of this video, there is going to be. We're going to be cutting into two, into both red and blue. What for? On this route, in Pokemon Red, I believe you catch Growlithe. And in Pokemon Blue, on this route, you catch Volpix. I'm pretty sure that's the way it went. If not, then it's the opposite way around. But I'm pretty sure I'm right. But... 
So yeah, at the end of this part we will have will have caught Growlithe and Volpix. And the part after we'll be evolving those two by stone. Yay! Boom. Thunderbolts for everybody. Ah, you fail slam. No! No! I should have just thunderbolted you. Ugh. You're making this delay much longer than needed be. Quack whoop. I wonder if I got any uh, awakenings. I should have found some by now. Or at least one. Or a full heal? Hello? Heals? No! Okay. <laughs> did it, did it. Did it, did it. Did it, did it. I get the feeling Pikachu's about to lose to a Clefairy. <laughs> Wake up, Pikachu! Oh god damn it, Pikachu's gonna die. The game's growling. How do you not wake up after being growled at? Pikachu! Pound. Oh, thank goodness that missed. Wait, why did I use Slam again? Oh crap. Pikachu, no! Well, that's Pikachu. <gasps> Ooh, Pikachu's still alive. Thunderbolt! Pikachu dead. Clefairy dead, I mean. <laughs> Stop! Don't be so mean to my Clefairy. You'll beat me to my Pikachu, so screw you. Okay, we need to heal up. Weep. Ugh. Okay, but there are actually no more Pokemon on this route in the yellow version to catch, so there's no point in us going into that grass, but yeah, you need cut to get in. So, that's going to be Pokemon Red and Blue. Honestly, I haven't even got anywhere near here yet with Red and Blue. <laughs> so yeah, as I said, I'm skipping all the trainers because of our new teammate coming up this episode. Woo! You know what? Time to ride the bike. Sorry if I burst anybody's eardrums with my whistling. I know the whistling gets loud and I don't think it's recommended you whistle into a mic. <laughs> Once again, it's the same type of route, so same Pokemon. Rocket! Rocket! Okay. Um... <coughs> I believe there are hidden items around here. I forget where you get the TM Finder. The TM Finder is one of those items that you can get again by, um... Uh... Professor Oak's AIDS. He has AIDS! Run! <laughs> okay, enough of that. Now we're gonna go and get our new teammates. This is actually me. Since I'm. You probably already know where I'm going. <laughs> you're like, oh come on, it's just too easy. I'm like hell, we don't know where you're going. It's part of the guy to catch him on Walker, so leave me alone. <laughs> And I got a DV. Somehow I can just take it instead of giving me an option. Nickname it, nah. We have an EV now. Level 25! Actually, this is around the same level as my other teammates. Not bad. Ooh, and EV special is 42. Higher than its attack. I like that. I like that in an EV. <laughs> that was creepy. But yeah, that's actually pretty good because this Eevee is going to become our water type Pokemon. That's right. We are now going into the sh into the big market to buy ourselves a water stone to evolve it into the first form of the uh, evolution of the evolution of the Porygon. And here's a Pokemon we can't have yet. It's a Polyrath. Ribbit, rip, ribbit. Wait. Ribbit. Oh, but it is considered the Toad Pokemon its pre-evolved forms. So, Blair. Market! Okay, this has many flaws. First floor, service counter. Top grade items for trainers. The trainer's market, basically where you can buy potions, Pokeballs, and all that jazz. Speaking of which, actually, I think I... Woo! Look at how much money we got. Uh, honestly, I'm a more fan of the Pokeballs, but I'll buy five Great Balls just in case. I do prefer the Pokeballs, however, though. 
I'll buy 50 super potions. I've got tons of money. Uh, I'll buy five revives. I shall buy some super repels for routes that we don't need to encounter Pokemon, and that'll do. Do you sell po uh, Pokeballs? No, you sell TMs. The annoying thing about this generation is that you can't see the TM until you get it. Uh, excuse me, lady. Thank you! You're so polite. Ooh, I remember this place. Oh, hi, I finally finished the Pokemon. Ah, not be done yet. This might be useful. Oh, we got TM18. Let's see, I believe this is Counter. Let's see if I'm right. It is Counter! Counter's a unique move that if used right can be an, practically a one-shot KO. If your Pokemon you use that always goes last, but if it get to, gets hit by a physical attack, it will actually deal the damage double you take. It's very good. And here we go. This is the place where you buy the stones. I'm gonna buy what I need. I'm gonna need two fire stones for Vulpix and I can't carry any more items. Son of a beep! Okay, let's sell off some items. Um, that's Thunderbolt, I'm keeping that. HM5, can't sell that. I'm gonna use those items. Moonstone, TM30, I believe that's worthless to me. Can't sell the bike, but I almost clicked it. Moonstone, revive, super repels, and I'll take that away. I do need to get rid of some stuff though. I need two Fire Stones for the two Pokemon that evolved by Fire Stone. I'll take a Water Stone that fills up my inventory. <coughs> we are now used the Water Stone. Ah! To evolve Eevee! What? Eevee is evolving! Give you a paper for yawn! Blah, blah, blah. Don't know why I did that, but I did. And there we go. We now have a Vaporeon. Much higher special as well. 65. Nice. We just need to get you some good moves, and I actually, we will get him a move in uh, this episode. Hi there, may I help you? Yes. Let's see. Leaf Stones. Pokemon that. Let's. I remember two Pokemon that evolved by Leaf Stone. No, 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 no. There's actually a third. That's right. There's three Pokemon. Give me another Leaf Stone. I'm actually preparing for the future. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I actually have no more space in my inventory, so I'm going to have to go and deposit some stuff in the PC. Like all these stones. But yeah, the two Fire Stones are for the only Pokemon that evolved by Fire Stone in this game. That is Growlithe into Arcanine and Vulpix into a Ninetales, which we will have those evolutions in the next episode. The one that evolved by the Leaf Stones is Oddish's second form Gloom into a Vile Plume. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong place. And the other one is Weeping Bell into- Oh that's right, Weeping Bell! I got Weeping Bell! Withdraw. Yeah, I'll figure it. Magnemite against. Okay, change box. What box are we on right now? Can I do any evolutions at the moment? Withdraw, Wiggly Tuck, with Fable, Mew, Venomat, Paris, Vero. I. C yeah, I got Weeping Bell. I could also get Nido Queen, but the problem is there's only one more Moonstone in the game, and that is over on the Cinnabar Island. I don't want to wait that long to get Nido King, so I'm not evolving you, but I'm taking Weeping Bell. And we are now going to evolve Weeping Bell. Time for another evolution! We are getting Pokemon left and right for our Pokedex. Time for the second one. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, Weeping Bell of the Beach Bell! Victory is assured. I'm sorry. Lame joke. Lame jokes be lame. Okay, do I have a gloom? I don't know if I have a gloom. I should have a gloom. Victory bell gone. Let's see. Withdraw. No. Still an oddish. 
it will evolve in two more levels. I will get Oddish ready to evolve in the next... Uh, between this episode and the next episode. So we'll have a bio plume. So that's pretty much it for that. Oh wait, Capacita! In fact, I think I'll get a few Pokemon ready because there are actually some that evolve around like level 20 to 22. Let's deposit the Moonstone for now because I don't need that. I just no, oh, not my bike, not my bike. My leaf stones. Not my Pokeballs. I need my balls. And my fire stones for now. Give me back my bike. Now I'm gonna put that back on top. God damn it. Uh, but before I do, HP up. Let's see. 61, 62. Vaporeon is very good in HP, so I think I'll give this to Pure. Pikachu! Okay, uh, well, yeah, actually, I wouldn't mind these being pretty close to the top. Oh, I actually already have the Ides of Bida. Well, son of a... Now, give me the bike. I want my lovely bicycle. Let's see. Okay, this is gonna be a moment. I like, I do like having some bits organized in my bag. I should probably do this off screen. Sorry. There we go. I think the last thing I want to do for this episode is get show you where you can get some pretty good TMs. Besides down here, which we'll cover in the next episode. You probably know where I'm going. Or do you? We shall know. Tis. <laughs> Oh, and I believe between this episode and the next episode, I am also going to trade Vaporeon over to Pokemon Blue in order to give him the Bubble Beam, since I already accidentally wasted it in this one. Yeah, because I would like a water move on Vaporeon. Now, what we're doing here is getting these uh, drinks. You can actually use these to heal your Pokemon, and they're cheaper than most potions, and they're pretty better as well. But, if you give them to this little girl, I'm thirsty and I want something to drink. Give her a drink? Yes. Fresh water! Yay! Fresh water! TM13. That is Ice Beam, of the, the one of the most powerful Ice-type moves next to Blizzard. But Blizzard is really hard to hit with. You can have some soda. Thank you, you can have this for me. TM48. This is Rock Slide. Another pretty good move, a Rock-type move. Give her a drink, yep, lemonade. One of my favorite drinks, to be honest. TM49. This is Tri Attack. Another decent attack. We got three good moves, actually. I'm teaching Ice Beam to Vaporeon, because Vaporeon needs it. <laughs> da 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 da. Make room for Ice Beam, Ruby Beam, yes, Tango Whip, ba 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 ba. Sorry. Ice Beam. Now then, Rock Slide. I think I can actually teach that to Nido King, but not Nido Row. Let's see. Yeah, no, nothing can learn that yet. What about Tri Attack? Ooh, Kadabra can learn it. I think I'll teach that to him. Kada uh, Tri Attack is an interesting attack. It actually has the uh, chance of either... Get rid of Teleportation. Has the, either the chance to paralyze, burn, or freeze an opponent. It's... A pretty good attack. And I'd say that's pretty much it for this episode. Oh, by the way, instead of taking the stairs, which I probably should have done at the beginning. Actually, what's this place? Ah, it's the uh, medicine floor. This is where you can buy like HP ups, proteins, and stuff like that if you really want them. EV training has been very is difficult in this game. It's an elevator. Oh, right, yeah, you just push yourself into it like a door. You don't click it. <laughs> ah! First floor. Beep. Beep boop. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to mention what I just sounded like. Well, that's that for this episode, then, I guess. 
I hope you guys have enjoyed. We did quite a lot this episode. We got ourselves free new Pokemon for the Pokedex. Uh, but yeah, we got Eevee, Vaporeon, and a Victory Bell. And we got ourselves some decent TMs. We made it to two new towns. And also slash brand new teammate who's coming to the top of the list because basically it's the lowest level I have. Between this episode and the next episode, I'm going to get uh, Oddish and some others trained up, ready to evolve, which you'll see in the next, uh, the beginning of the next episode. And um, right now we are going. Oh, and I'm also going to go and battle all those trainers. You really don't need to see them; they're just casual trainers. There's nothing difficult about them. So that will do for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm now going to cut over to Pokemon Red and Blue to capture Vulpix and Growlithe. Okay, see you over there, and see you next time. Bye-bye. I guess. <laughs> Derp. Okay, here we are on Red Version. Now, just one quick note before we hunt for Growlithe, which is on this route. We are going to do two other things besides catch Growlithe on Red, and one more thing on Blue, other than catching Vulpix. On both Red and Blue, I went and got the EVs, so we're going to be evolving them and transferring them over to yellow. And in yes, we're going to be evolving Pikachu as well to send over as a Raichu for the Raichu part of the Pokedex. But the evolution will be after the capture. Let's go! If this takes a while, I'll cut out just like I always do. So, is this Growlithe? No, it's a Pidgey. If this, as I said, takes a while, I'll see you there. Beep. Finally! That took us about two, three minutes to find. And Gloom almost died trying to find this thing. <sighs> okay, this is the annoying thing. I do indeed believe both Growlithe and Vulpix have Roar. So... Yep, there it is! Gloom ran away scared. Ugh. I'm going to cut now until we actually end up in the battle where we catch Growlithe because this is going to be a pain because we have to put it to sleep first. So, BRB. Another Growlithe. Of course you woke up. Oh. And you woke up again. Oh. And you woke up again! Okay, I'm keeping that in. That's just fucking ridiculous. <coughs> uh, stay asleep. I said stay asleep! Sleeping. Okay, I'm gonna take a risk. Go Pokeball! Damn it! Oh, it's still snoozing. Guess I'm just now running on luck. Still snoozing. Please stay asleep after this exorb. A halfway, and it's still asleep. This could be the Growlithe. I really should have more Pokeballs. Yes! Growlithe was caught! Oh my god, Growlithe was a pain. Growlithe! The puppy Pokemon. Very protective of its territory and will bark at and bite to repel intruders from its space. We've noticed the raw the bark. <laughs> okay! That's Growlithe caught and with us. Which we will evolve on yellow. The only evolutions going over right here on red is going to be with these two Thunderstones. First, Pikachu. What? Pikachu's evolving! Pikachu, welcome to the 
And Thunderstone on Eevee. <coughs> Whoa, Eevee looks weird. Eevee evolves Jolteon. Yeah. Raichu and Jolteon. Raichu, Jolteon, and Growlithe will be on yellow in the next episode, as you would expect. Now we're going to cut over to blue. See you there. Okay, we're over here on blue, and just like I said in red, both games, I went and got Eevee for the, evo for the other evolution we need for the Pokedex. And we are here on blue to capture Vulpix. Is this Vulpix? No, it's not. See you when I find Vulpix. And I do indeed believe it possesses Roar. Oh, fun. Well, that was a fast find. Literally the second Pokemon. Whether I'm gonna have to cut stuff out, say it's up to Vulpix. Weeping Bell's got a better shot, actually, weakening Vulpix faster than the Gloom did in red. So I got cut. I beheaded Vulpix. Oh, god damn it, Weeping Bell. See you in the next Vulpix. Not deserved! Whew. The next Pokemon after that Vulpix was a Vulpix. Honestly, I'd rather cut first, but I have to make sure it doesn't roar. At least this Vulpix doesn't want to wake up as quickly as that Growlithe did. Come on, Weeping Bell. Perfect! This should be an easy catch. Nine Pokeballs. Go! Oh, booyah! Vulpix was caught. New Pokedex. Vulpix the Fox Pokemon. At the time of its birth, it has just one tail. The tail splits from the tip as it grows older. Yeah, except we only ever see a Vulpix with like eight tails. You never see a one-tailed Vulpix. That would be awesome to see that in Generation games. Say like when you uh, breed a Vulpix or a Nine Tails, and you get a newly Vulpix with a single tail, and as it like levels up, it gets more tails. Oh, that would be amazing if they implemented that. Okay, Firestone to evolve Eevee to the final form of Eevee we need. <coughs> this will complete the Eevee evolutions! Eevee about the Flareon! And there you have it! That is all the Pokemon to be traded over to Pokemon Yellow. In the next episode of Pokemon Yellow, gotta catch them all what through. I will show off Raichu, Jolteon, and Flareon. And in that part, we'll also evolve Growlithe and Vulpix to Arcanine and Ninetales. Okay then, hope you enjoyed. See you then. Bye!